welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I'm really excited to film today's video for a couple of reasons. One, it's just a really kind of cozy, dreary, rainy day outside. So it's kind of nice to be able to do something inside. I've got my vanilla latte on the go as well. But the main reason why I'm super excited to film today is because I have another unboxing behind me and I cannot wait to show you guys what I picked up because this is just... I feel like my handbag unboxings are just getting more and more exciting and better and better and better. I probably think this is my most exciting one today. I'm really like itching to open this. It was delivered yesterday. I got given it today, however, because I got it delivered to a different address and I had to kind of find a small window where I could just sit down and film this because I have to see this bag. I can't wait four days like I did last time. If you saw my previous um, unboxing, you would have seen that I unboxed the bag four days after actually having it in my possession and I didn't unbox it because I wanted to save it to share with you guys because I know that you guys love handbags too and I wanted you to kind of be in with me on the experience. So as you would have seen by the title, this is another collaboration with Babala. So Babala is an incredible replica website. I will leave all of their information down in the description box for you. They are just so fantastic and I have teamed up with them on a bunch of occasions now. I'll make sure to leave all of my previous collaboration videos with them listed in the description box because there are some incredible bags that I've unboxed on my channel that were kindly gifted by Babala. So this time around, I went for something different. I've never obviously tried this brand before. I am low-key screaming inside my head and I'm so excited to open it. So when I got the opportunity to work with Babylon again, of course, I jumped at the chance. I also want to share it with my viewers because I know that a lot of you are handbag fanatics as well. And like me, do not have the facility slash budget or the want and desire to part with the amount of money that the real authentics cost. And so I thought this is what my channel is all about, finding much more affordable ways to live that luxurious lifestyle and having a lot less guilt in your spendings. So I'll just give you a little bit of information about Babala. If you haven't seen any of my previous videos, if you have, then obviously feel free to skip ahead because not much has changed, but basically they are an online replica website. They sell the most incredible pieces online and they have a vast, variety of designers that they supply so anything from Louis Vuitton, Prada, Chanel, YSL, Gucci, Burberry, Hermes. They also have a really easy way of shopping if you're looking for a particular style of bag you can simply search for top handle bags, backpacks, um, crossbody bags, things like that and then it will bring up all the brands and the styles that fit under that category or if you want to be really really specific say you're looking for a Louis Vuitton Neverfall MM. You can literally click on Louis Vuitton. As soon as you click on Louis Vuitton, they'll have a drop down with all of the different styles that Babala carry for the Louis Vuitton brand. And then you can pick the specific styles that you want. So they really do take a lot of the guesswork out for you, makes it much simpler to shop. They also have a WhatsApp that you can use for customer care prior and during your purchase and also after customer care also. One thing that I would suggest as well is setting yourself up an account if you haven't. It's just an easier way to track your order. However, when my order was dispatched, I did get all the tracking information so that I could follow it. It came to me via Royal Mail and it came in nine days, which is two days quicker than the previous one came. So I'm really, really happy. I wasn't expecting it this soon. And like I say, it came to me a lot quicker than expected, which I'm really not complaining about because now I get to use it over the weekend. So I'm definitely a very happy girl and I cannot wait to show this bag off. So if you are interested in the particular bag that I'm going to show you, then I will leave an exact link for the one that I got so that you can shop it yourself. I'll also leave a link to their website so that you can browse their pieces because I tell you what, it is a little bit overwhelming browsing their site because they do have so many options for you to choose from. But if you've got a specific thing in mind that you're wanting to look for, they do cater to anyone's style needs. I do also have a discount code for you as I have with my previous video. So it is this 
I will also leave it down in the description box for you so if you want to shop Babbler, make sure to save yourself a little bit of money in the process and also I'm happy to answer any questions that you have in the comment section down below and I will obviously try to help as best that I can. So this is the box itself. I've obviously never had a beautiful orange Hermes box in my possession before so it just says Hermes Paris on the front. The one thing that I will say about purchasing on Babbler is they really do make you feel like you're having a luxurious experience all the way down to their packaging so it has got a little bit beat up in shipping but it's nothing that I'm going to complain about there's just a little dent on the box here and one here but as you can imagine it has had to come a relatively long way to get to me so I'm really fine with that they do try and take as much care with their packaging as possible this orange bag actually came in another cardboard box and then it came in obviously like a kind of ziplock style plastic style bag so they have kind of taken as much care as possible and then when you see how the bag is packaged through previous experiences i know that they really do take care when they're packaging their bags up so that's obviously something to put your mind at ease as well they really do take care and pride in the things that they're selling so the suspense is killing me i literally can't wait any longer so we'll open up the box we have some hermes tissue paper here never thought i would see that in my entire life and it's literally just placed on top it's not actually wrapped in the tissue paper but i feel like that's something that i want to keep i feel like i maybe will display that or use that for a flat lay or something we then have the most beautiful dust bag We have this beautiful high quality dust bag and that's another thing that I actually forgot to mention at the start of the video is when you're shopping on the website you do have the option to choose between a high quality bag or a medium quality bag obviously depending on which one you pick it will depict the price of the item that you're purchasing so if you go medium tier then obviously they will be a bit more affordable the higher tier ones are the more expensive so just to let you know I did pick the higher quality ones so this was from their higher quality category I love, I love this dust bag. It's super, super thick, really sturdy quality, and I cannot wait to keep the bag in this. I feel like I'm definitely gonna get a lot of use out of this. So, sorry, I'm trying to look myself too. <gasps> ah, so it's wrapped in plastic wrap, as you can see, but obviously it's a dead giveaway as to what I've got, but I'll give you a bit more information about the bag once I've got it out of the packaging. Do you know what? She's got some weight to her. I will give her that. Wow, we. Okay. I just want to make sure that I'm being really delicate. I really don't want to scuff or rip or cut anything. Wow. Feels so good. This is the level of detail that I'm talking about that they go to. So this bag has feet on the bottom and it doesn't just have tape covering it to protect the feet. It actually has. Can you see this? like little, I'll take one off and show you, like little silicone cups that have just been put on there. It's just next level, this company, honestly. I've never had a bad experience with them. I'm so in awe of this bag. <gasps> I'll show you some details up close, like I say, in a second. I'm just gonna get this packaging off and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so I'm still screaming on the inside. It's been about, <laughs> I don't know, 24 hours it took me to take off all that packaging. They take so much pride in their packaging and so much care. Every single piece of hardware was completely taped up. There was tape all over this kind of little strap here as well. And obviously the handles, as you would have seen, it was meticulously covered so that everything was completely protected. And now that I'm looking at the hardware on it, it is so 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 shiny gonna be completely honest it's darker than i was expecting but i'm really not mad at it i actually think that the color is beautiful and the reason why i picked this particular style of bag is because i'm looking for a transitional bag for autumn and winter i cannot believe i'm saying that and so many of you are gonna hate me because i'm sure a lot of you love the summer if i'm being completely honest my time in the summer is usually counting down to autumn and winter because i love the autumn and winter can't cope in the heat. People get really mad at me when I say this and I don't understand why, but I cannot cope in the heat. It makes me physically ill. It makes me really lethargic and I'm a healthy person. I drink a lot of water. It's not that, I promise it's not that. 
I just get uncomfortable. I can't lay in the sun and sunbathe. It's not my thing. All I'm thinking about is how uncomfortable I am. So I definitely, definitely cannot wait to bust this out in the autumn and winter. Is it not the most perfect color for autumn? And you best believe that there's gonna be so many TikToks and Instagram posts on my new Instagram and TikTok pages. That's a shameless plug I'm featuring this bag for sure because I'm just gonna be wearing it all the time. I literally cannot get over how incredible this is. So a little bit about the bag. This is the Hermes Birkin 25 and it is in the tan color with calfskin leather and gold hardware. This, I just feel like is such a beautiful handbag. It definitely to me looks less tan, more kind of like a chocolatey brown. And I'm obsessed with it, absolutely obsessed with it. So a little bit about kind of like my overall first look at the bag. It feels impeccable quality. This is probably the number one bag that I have at the moment. And that's including the previous bag that I've had from Babylon. Not to say that those bags were bad, but this, this just feels premium. This feels really good. So I'm looking at all of the stitching. It's perfectly uniform. And with regards to the hardware as well, like I said before, it is ridiculously shiny. Like I can literally see my face in the hardware. It is glowing. I feel like the light's just completely bouncing off of it. It looks so, so beautiful. So it does have Hermes Paris made in France, as you can see at the top of the bag. The one tiny thing that I am actually gonna pick up on is, and I hate to say this because I really don't wanna say a negative because this bag is incredible, but where it says Hermes, a tiny, tiny, tiny top left part of the H is missing. So one side is shorter than the other on the H. But that's literally the only negative that I can see. And that's such a shame because this really is the most stunning bag I think I've ever set my eyes on. So there are a couple of things inside. Um, there's just one of these like little packet things you get in a lot of things. I don't know what that is. Mold proof agent, okay. And then there is a little pouch inside. I'm gonna pop this here so it's not out of shot because it's so beautiful. Right, okay, so what's in here? We've got, okay, a little tag. I'm gonna have to maybe like Google how this is meant to look because I obviously don't wanna mess it up. And then in this box, Again, really shiny hardware and in some packaging, some little plastic packaging, is a padlock with a key, which actually, I feel like would be perfect for me to use at the gym. And I don't know if people are gonna roll their eyes when I say that, but um, I need a padlock for the gym and the ones that I bought are too small, so. Um, on the padlock, it does say Hermes 0128 and then 162 at the bottom. You're probably not gonna be able to see that because it's so, so small, but this is what they look like up close. I will do close-ups of everything as well, just so that you can see because the lighting is so bad in here. I'll just pop these back in the little matching pouch. How cute would this be to kind of maybe like keep spare jewelry or things like that in your bag? So when I like, when I'm out and about, I can just like pull out a cute little Hermes pouch. That'd be sweet. So yeah, I'll pop that in there. So as you can imagine, this is available in a 30 and 35, but I wanted the 25. I feel like the 25 is the perfect size for me and it reflects my style a lot more. I much prefer kind of smaller bags like this, any bigger, and I probably wouldn't want to carry it, especially where I have a toddler. I feel like this is a perfect top handle bag, but I don't want anything too bulky. I also don't want the excuse to carry too much in my handbags. But like I say, it does come in a 30 and 35. However, obviously, as you can imagine, because the bags are bigger, they're using more material, they are a little bit more expensive than this one. As you can see, this bag doesn't come with any cross body straps, so I will be purely carrying it top handle, which I'm absolutely fine with. I love a good top handle bag. You know me, if you watch my channel and you've seen my handbag videos, you know that I'm a top handle gal all the way. Although when I've got my toddler around, it is easier for a cross body, but 
I mean, I just genuinely can't stop staring at this bag. I think it's absolutely incredible. But I do have to say I'm gutted about the H on the Hermes. Oh, it's such a little thing. I think I can get over it. It's just, it was doing so well. And I was completely like, have I just found the most incredible bag ever created on planet Earth? But I do still think I have, actually. So looking at the other details of it, you've got this beautiful hardware here and it has a little turn closure. I'm planning on carrying the bag open. I just think that's a lot easier for me day to day so that I can pop stuff in and take stuff out with ease. And then I'll kind of just like leave these open like this. I don't know. I don't know if some people maybe put them in these little bits so that they don't go all over the place, but I'm quite happy just leaving them out like that. It does say Hermes Paris on the little buckle here. Again, I'll give you a close up so that you can see everything. But the top handles themselves, they feel it's the hardest thing to explain because it's such a it's such a like contradiction. They feel heavy but feel light. As in like they're heavy duty, but they're light, so it's not like too heavy. But the bag itself, it feels luxurious. It feels top quality. And I know that I'm gonna get so much wear out of this bag. I thought a really handy thing as well, in case you are looking to purchase a bag like this yourself, would be to see potentially what fits in this bag so that you can maybe decide whether or not you wanted to stick with this size or if you wanted to go up to the 30 or the 35. So I'm going to grab a couple of bits and then I'm going to see what I'd be able to carry on a day to day. Say I was doing like an admin day at a cafe or if I was just going out for a little while. Let's grab some bits and pack the bag together. Okay, so I'll start with the biggest thing first. So it's just a notebook with a pen. Next up, everyone's gonna need a card holder or a purse. This one is really cute. This is kind of like giving me Gucci vibes, but this is, I think it was like 4 dollars from New Look. This lip balm, this is from Timu. This gives me serious Dior vibes and I have had the Dior lip balm myself and I can actually say that these are very, very comparable to the Dior lip balms. Next up, a hand sanitizing spray. Then this is kind of like a little miscellaneous, kind of small, what you potentially might need in a day kit. So in here, there's just tissues, oil absorbing sheets, plasters, a mirror, and some eye drops. Your phone, some mints or gum of your choice, and your keys. And there is plenty of room in there, as you can see. I probably could put a ton more stuff in there actually, but I don't want to overload it and I definitely don't need too much to carry in a small bag, especially a top handle bag. I don't want to make it too, too heavy, but that's everything nicely fitting inside. And like I say, you could add more if you wanted to. So I hope that helps if you are considering this particular bag. I'm going to empty everything out now and I'm just going to show you really quickly the interior of the bag just so that you can see the features of the bag because I don't think I showed that. So as you can see here on the interior, it's one big open compartment. There is a zip section at the back and the zip is buttery smooth. That's perfect if you didn't want to carry a card holder or you wanted to keep something just secure in the back zip section. And then it does have a front patch pocket as you can see. So you could slip anything in there. I could maybe put my lip balm in there. If I needed to pull it out in a pinch, then it's kind of somewhere where I know it's going to be. I can just reach into that little pouch and it will be there. So. Yeah, there's a quick overview of the inside. I also wanted to show you that inside the bag, we do have an Hermes card. This is made out of plastic and it just says we certify the authenticity of this item and confirm that it has been subjected to the most exacting quality control. It's high quality is a symbol of the fine representation of the trademark and so on and so forth. And then I'm assuming this is the receipt that you would get if you visited an Hermes store. And what do we have in here? So it looks like a tax invoice, but it's empty. Then this is just what, what all of this comes in. And then what do we have here? 
Um, is pleased to offer you this raincoat. Oh, it's not a raincoat. It's a Birkin 25, but okay. And then we have this here, so. So that is everything for today's video. I really do hope that you enjoyed it. If you need any further information, please do leave me a comment down below or you can contact Babbler directly using their WhatsApp feature or their contact section on their website. Remember, I have linked this exact bag in the description box for you along with the Babbler website as well. So you can check out their other pieces and that discount code is down there too. There'll also be some previous handbag unboxings linked down below just so that you can watch them if you're interested in seeing some of my other reviews. So I really do hope that you're having an amazing day wherever you are and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.